Good morning, everyone. It's October 6, 2022, and welcome to our weekly psalm reading. This morning, I'd like to share with you Psalm 130. Psalm 130. Out of the depths have I called you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. If you, Lord, were to note what is done amiss, O Lord, who would stand? For there is forgiveness with you, therefore you shall be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits for him. In his word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen for the morning, more than watchmen for the morning. O Israel, wait for the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy. With him there is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. Good morning again. So Psalm 130, if you didn't hear that before, uh, before I started, it's a short psalm. It's only seven verses long, but it's a beautiful psalm. And it talks about how we, we call to God. You know, out of the depths, there were sometimes we, we are in that deep despair and we are in trouble and we, we just need to know that God uh, is hearing us. It's, you know, out of the depths have I called you, O Lord. Lord, hear my vo voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. You know, Lord, hear my prayers. Listen to me, you know. And it says in verse 3, for there is forgiveness with you. For there is forgiveness with you. So sometimes we just need to know that when we go astray, when we're doing wrong, when we or when we've done things that maybe aren't as uh, pleasing to God, to other people, or even to ourselves, that there's forgiveness with God. And it goes on to say, and a beautiful imagery, you know, my soul waits for God. I wait for the Lord, in his word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen for the morning. That ancient imagery of, of a watchman in a, either on the gates or around the, on a tower, waiting for the sunrise to come to, out of the depths of the darkness, that they, that they be the glimmer of, of light, which you know is that glimmer of hope from the darkness to light. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen for the morning. And it goes on to say, O Israel, O Israel, wait for the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy. You know, obviously this is a psalm for the whole people, but it's a psalm for us too, to remind us, wait for God. Wait for God and, and don't, don't forget God. Don't forget God in prayers. Don't forget God when we seek uh, some guidance and, and wisdom in our lives and strength and encouragement. Good morning, Eileen. So wait for the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy. And with him, and it goes on to say in the last verse, verse 7, for there's plenteous redemption. God redeems us. God loves us. And God, God brings us back all the time. Just as Israel here is being encouraged to wait for God and that God will redeem. You know, if the whole people of Israel can be waiting for God and know that there is a redemption, how much more than for each of us? Uh, you know, like God calls us back. God redeems us. How did he redeem us? Through his great love and through the giving of Jesus, you know, and, and Jesus on the cross who gave his life for us, redeemed us or bought us back, brought us and brought us back to God. So, well, good morning, Mary Lou. Good morning, Deacon Becky. So Psalm 130, if you have a chance to read it today, beautiful psalm, not very long, but has this wonderful imagery and depth to it of waiting for God and knowing that God forgives and that God redeems. And it's our soul that is called to wait for the Lord. Let us have a prayer. Rescue us, O God, for whom we wait, from the depths of depression and despair. May we trust in your mercy, know the fullness of your redemption, and share in the glory of your kingdom through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a great morning, have a great day, and we'll see you next week, everyone. Bye-bye.